Hello everybody, this is Vasu DJ. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to talk about synthetic method of teaching mathematics. Synthetic method. What is synthetic method? Synthetic is derived from the word synthesis. Synthesis is the complement of analysis. So analysis that is splitting off. Synthesis that is combined together. To synthesis is to combine the constituent elements to produce something new. In this method, we start with something already known and connect it with the unknown part of the statement. Here in analytical method, unknown part we will take, but in synthetic method, we have to take the known part first, then try to find the unknown part. Therefore, in this method, one proceeds from known to unknown. It is the process of combining known bits of information to reach the point where unknown information becomes obvious and true. Now, let's take one example. Here are the same. If a by b is equal to c by d, prove that ac plus 3b square by dc is equal to c square plus 3b d by dc. This is our problem. Now, we have to take the known part. So, in this synthetic method, one has to begin with the known thing that is a by b is equal to c by d and reach the unknown that is ac plus 3b square by bc is equal to c square plus 3b d by dc. Proof. Now, what to prove? a by b is equal to c by d that is known part. So, here by taking this add 3 by 3b by c on both sides. What we get? a plus b is equal to 3b by c equals c by d plus 3b by c. So now we added here 3b by c on both sides. So here take LCM bc then we will get ac plus 3b square equals bc is a LCM. So c square will get c square plus 3bd. So thus, beginning with the known, the unknown is reached. So, but why 3b by c is added is not explained in this method. So, in synthetic method, the reason is as follows: if a is true, b is true, and c is true. Now, let us see what are the merits of synthetic method. This method is logical as in the method. One proceeds from known to unknown. It is a very logical step by step, and from we are proceed from known to unknown. It is short and elegant. It facilitates speed and efficiency. Just you know already that things just go on adding and we are getting the unknown things. It is more effective for slow learners. Now let us see what are the limits. It leaves many doubts in the minds of the learner and offers no explanation for them. Why we have to add C B by C? So no explain for that. So we, the student has the doubts in that. As it does not justify all the steps, recall of all the steps may not be possible. So recalling what to add, when to add, which step, all is very difficult to recall for the student. There is no scope for discovery and inquiry in this method. Just go on adding what no uh, chance of discovering any new thing and all. It makes the student passive listeners and encourage group memorization. Just will say that just add this one you will get means they will do. So there is very passive listener. If the students forget the sequence of the steps, it could not verify difficult to re reconstruct the proof or Solutions. So what to add? If they forget the what thing, what to add, so they cannot get the solution part. Okay, they cannot prove the things. So this is the, these are the demerits of synthetic method. Thank you for watching. If not yet subscribe, please subscribe my channel.